It's no secret that the Israeli brain is the most important resource of our small country. Endless curiosity, the desire to learn and to find answers to some of the toughest questions starts at a young age. Meet the students who, even before they turned 18, were key members of a team that launched nano-satellites into space. <laughs> yeah, space. Rom Bacha from the Herzliya Space Program is responsible for the satellite ground station and is developing a chip for communication between satellites in space. Satellite communication is one of the most important issues in the field. The second most important issue? Explaining to your parents what it is you do. In this project, we're going to launch a constellation of satellites that will be built by high school students all around Israel. Ila Riblov, also from the Herzliya Space Program, was the head of the Hupo 2 team, which launched a nano research satellite into space. It's about the size of a milk carton, and it was launched by NASA to the International Space Station to collect research data. Sure, it sounds hard, but it's not rocket science. Uh. The scientific mission of Duhipat 3 is to photograph Earth and make ecological research. Students from diverse communities participated in building the satellite. Students from Shaar Negev, Taibe, Yerucham, Nazaret, Kiat Ata, Khura, and Ulpana students from Ofra and Ofakim. Meet Orit Shachar. When she was still in school, she had already conducted substantial research on neuronal differentiation at the prestigious Wiseman Institute of Science in Israel, one of the leading research institutes in the world. I've been very interested in biology since I was a kid, and when I joined the Alpha program, they gave me this research, which is in uh, molecular biology and genetics. So like uh, 20 years from now, what do you see yourself uh, accomplishing? I would like to discover something that would give us a better understanding of our world. This young man is Idan Rhein, and he has performed impressive research work in the field of astrophysics on the quantitative characterization of planets outside the solar system. The end goal of these studies is to find an Earth-like planet around a different solar system. In addition, a more theoretical goal is to understand how solar systems are created. Let's not waste any more of his time. I'm going to go make him a sandwich. 